There are widespread allegations in Zimbabwe that the ruling ZANU-PF party is intimidating voters before they can cast their ballot. Several videos posted on social media and others gathered by our reporters indicate that before people go to cast their ballots, especially in the rural areas, they are taken through a screening process at a desk, written poll exit survey in which their numbers, their ID numbers are taken down and they are ordered to record serial numbers of their ballot papers. After voting, these people are then required to go via a fuzz desk where they will have these serial numbers recorded against their ID numbers. So as you can see, this is what's happening. Yeah, I want to know who is in charge, who is defrauding the people of their constitutional right. Those are the right rights. 1986. Oh, na baba wangu manjengwa. Mbundinga. Oh. Awandoa wa kuru wa rikubira wa numa votza. Murukubira wa numa votza. This fraud will come to light. Inda andri, inda andri, inda zaru wa sekuru. Inda kazi zaru wa muna 1981. Awasi sozi netu wa sekuru. Zoguti wa nwanyore masita eresha. Ha, 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 ha. Kuna mata kwe chechi yao. Oh. So the time here is just after eight. And the gentleman who was the former councillor is sitting in a blue cap. And another gentleman is running. He is running what he calls an exit poll survey before people have voted. So there is no exit poll before people have voted. An exit poll only happens after. So we see whether the people's will will be. You're not given instructions by people. like the camera. <laughs> I was asking here yesterday. I was asking here yesterday. Why did Mama? Because what you are doing is illegal today, it's not a campaign day because you know, triple election day at this good as a please. Tokumbirao Mutoba, Maga display a regalia on a voting day like this. Tokumbirao move a papo is also Tokumbirao move a papo. I'm telling you. Whatever I told you, my young guns are going to be a better one. That's another one. I'm going to take him. If I ban him, and I won't vote him. I'm going to take him. You are more than two. What are you doing here? I'm going to take him. 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 I'm going to take him.
Listen, there is a lot of problems, causes, has created problems, have set up tables, are intimidating people. In Ward 14, Ward 13, Ward 10, and all the wards where they believe that uh, they are weak, they've been intimidating people. On this day, when really it's a public holiday, then people must go and vote freely. What is the point of recording people before they vote and after voting? I think it is the role of the Electoral Commission to do that in terms of voting. So we cannot take many voting centers. It's unacceptable, it's very sad, because we expect the thing ruling party itself to be leading in terms, by example, in terms of what needs to be done. But we will stand in that, have confidence that the people of Norton will do what is good for them, what is right for them. But the living playing field remains uneven. The playing field remains uneven. This has been considered by the opposition to be a well thought out plan by the ruling ZANU PF party to intimidate voters so that they can fought the incumbent and the ruling party. Mkoli Singube, AVG News, Johannesburg.